Tiger Cats have scored just one point in the second half, clinging to a 19-13 lead. And in the game that was called on account of darkness yesterday in the OQIFC final, Concordia defeating Laval 17-12. The game was suspended at 10-10 yesterday. Today they played two 10-minute overtime periods, and Concordia won it 7-2. There's a former Queens man who played in the OQ. Climby, who's had a big game over 100 yards in this one. Ham flushed and finally sacked by Mike Philbrook. Mike Philbrook, who had all four of his sacks this season against the Alouettes in one game in the regular season. Tracy Ham wanted to go to Chris Armstrong down the field, but once again, the Hamilton secondary will not allow him to get open. Armstrong is trying to work to find an open area. He gets jammed by Gerald Vaughn and then Justin Ring. He just can't find the opening. Ham has to hold the ball too long and Philbrook gets to him. Big loss on the play. Second and long. Montreal. Ham again, indecisive. Will run. Pursuit from Montford from the backside, and he's tackled well shy of the first down marker. Well, now what do you do if you're Dave Ritchie? You got two minutes, ten seconds left. About six yards for a first down. And Montford appears to be shaken up after making the tackle on Tracy Ham. Ham has had two plays in a row where he has had tons of time to throw the football, but he can't find anybody open. Two minutes to go in the game. Third down and six. And the Alouettes are gambling again. Ham back to pass. Lots of protection. Then he ducks the rush. Buying himself more time. He'll run again. He's got the first down. He's very close, but there's a flag on the play. Matt Cody was fighting with Gerald Vaughn and Rob Hitchcock down the field to try and get open. That may be the play of pass interference down the field, but I think Ham picks up the first on his own. That's what it is. Pass interference down the field. So either way, Montreal gets the first down. Here's Dave Yule. Holding. Hamilton number two. First down. Is Eric Carter. That's legal, the first jam, but it's later when Ham is starting to scramble. The Cody tries to get open. Vaughn's going to start to grab him and tackle him. They got the wrong number, but they got the right penalty. Ty Cat secondary trying to manhandle the Alouette receivers. As Tracy Ham goes back to the old days and his scrambling to get a first down. And what a gamble, third and six. Ham back to pass, more pressure, that's Whitehead. Then comes Phil Brook and another sack. <laughs> Willie Whitehead, who moved in from the weekend position to the tackle to take over for the injured Jeff Cummins, is having a great game with big push. Well, in fairness to the, the offensive line for the Montreal Alouettes, I mean, they have done a pretty nice job, but he cannot go downfield, and he's trying to find Chris Armstrong, and guess what? This time, because of the pressure, Armstrong is open, but because of Willie Whitehead, Tracy Ham doesn't see him. That's how it works sometimes. You saw that Chris Armstrong... Chris Armstrong got jammed on one play. Ham couldn't get there, and he gets sacked. And that time, Ham has Whitehead in his face, and... And Mike Philbrick is down on the field. 